What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a TTM squeeze scanner on the app called Thinkorswim for trading. First things first guys, if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you guys subscribe, like, and comment down below. You found this video to be super helpful. I know a lot of people that are definitely getting into day trading and stuff like that and even the, the scalp traders. This is definitely going to be a good tool to use. So first things first guys, you guys want to go ahead and open up Thinkorswim. Um, when you first start up as a user, there's going to be a lot going on, but this is where you're going to see first. You're going to see a chart. You're going to see volume on the bottom. On the left side, you're going to see live news, your account information, your trader TV, and your quick chart, and etc. All right? First thing that you want to do, guys, in order for you guys to create two different TTM squeeze indicators. The first one I'll be showing you guys is the one on your watches, on your watch list. Sorry about that. Um, you guys are going to see how to do that. So... The first thing that you want to do if you guys do not know how to pull up a watch list or let alone set one up, all you want to do is left click on your mouse, click on that, and click on create watch list. Now the watch list that I'm going to be creating here, guys, is going to be a quick, simple watch list that I use for some of my tickers that I watch and stuff like that. So just keep in mind that these are just random tickers, but these are also good tickers that um, I potentially trade every single day and use a TTM squeeze uh, scanner on here. So uh, you could go ahead and name it whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and call it squeeze. Uh, yeah, just call it squeeze, I guess. And then I'm going to click on add symbol. You're going to add different random tick uh, tickers. I'll do Apple, AMD, PA, Amazon, Microsoft, Disney, IN, Intel, I believe, or I INTC, sorry. Uh, what else we can use? SQ, Docu, Roku, Netflix. So for this prime example, guys, these are the ones I want to use. Uh, once that's done, you're going to click on save. Now it should automatically pull up on the left side for your watch list. And if you want to create a different watch list, like I said, you're going to left click and you can click on the create new watch list. And in order for you to actually uh, get into your different watch list, um, you can click on this stuff. So for example, if I want to switch it really quick, I click on default, which is this is your default. Um, so for this example, I guess I'll just use the default page since it's more easier. And uh, so now you have your thing set up, right, on the left side. So once you're done making your watch list, now what you want to do is click on the mini gear icon that is right here. You're going to click on Customize. Once you get on Customize, guys, um, what you want to do is look up called Custom. There's going to be Custom 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and etc. It doesn't matter which custom you use. Uh, for this prime example, I'm going to use number 5. What you want to do is double-click it. And then once you get there, guys, all you want to do is go on to Thing Script Editor, and you're going to select and copy this code that I'm going to be telling you guys right here. I will leave it down in the bio description for this YouTube video. All you want to do is literally copy and paste it inside of there. Now, what you want to do now is look up three or four different time frames indicators for your TTM squeeze. So, for example, I'm going to give you the three ones that I usually use on it when I'm a scalp trader. So, I'm going to show you guys. So, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and put five minute and then I'll put SQ for squeeze, okay? So, now you click on this D right here and then you click on the five minute one. Once that's done, you want to make sure that this check mark is included for the extended hours of the trading session, all right? So, once that is done, you click on apply and click OK. Now, you're going to go on to the next one on the custom six. You're going to repeat the same process. You're going to create several different ones. So right now we have the five minute squeeze. Now we're going to make a 10 minute squeeze. Okay. So I'll put 10 minute or SQ for squeeze. All right. Click on 10, 10 minute, think script editor, paste, right? Make sure this is included. All right. For the extended hours training session and click apply and okay. You're going to complete the process by doing that once more again. You can do it as many times as you guys want. I like to have it only three because I don't like the whole screen being taken over with my watch list. So for this one example, I'll put 30 MSQ, which stands for 30 minutes, of course. You're going to click on the 30-minute one, editor, remove this, and then copy and paste that code inside there. Click apply, click OK. Now, once that's done, guys, you guys are going to see something similar to this. You're going to see the symbol, last, net change, bid, ask, and then, of course, your three custom ones that you just made. Once that's done, you click on OK. 
Now you're going to see right here on the uh, right side of your tickers, you're going to see a squeeze. Now you're probably wondering, okay, how is that going to be beneficial to me and how can I use it? So for a prime example on this one, you want to write this down in your notes. Um, you guys want to look at the squeezes that have the number 13.0, okay? These are the ones that are the highest. Now, if you see it in three different time frames, that is a confirmation that the uh, this specific ticker is either going to go up or down, all right? Uh, it's going to be different for every single ticker. Some tickers won't even have anything because there is no squeeze. Um, but for this um, example, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like for BAC. So we're now going to go to BAC. And you guys can't see your squeeze, right? Not on the bottom because you guys haven't enabled it. So in order for you guys to enable it, I'm going to show you guys how to do the settings. So first things first, guys, I like to look at the volume. So you're going to right click on this, go to style. After that, you want to go on to settings. When you get to the settings, you want to click on the appearance, go on to fill up. And then uh, this most important part is the volume bars. And you want to make sure this is checked out for color as symbol ticks. Once that's done, guys, you're going to click on apply, click OK. Now, in order for you guys to get the TTM squeeze indicator, what you want to do is close on the top right and go on to edit studies. In this little search bar, you're going to look up TTM squeeze. You're going to click on it, double click it, click apply, click OK. Now, from this time frame, guys, you guys can see with the BAC that we have it on the one day, 10 minute and the one day, 30 minute. So we're going to click on the one day. 10 minute and if you guys don't know how to do that you're going to click on the top right next to the gearbox go to time frame and go to one day i'm sorry intraday one day and then i said the 10 minute i believe click on okay so now you guys can see this in the pre-market guys we have a huge squeeze okay right now from this indication right here just off this too um, I can tell that we are potentially going to go on the upside or maybe even the downside, but maybe on the upside. And you're probably wondering, okay, Izzy, how can you tell, right? All right, so if you guys do not know how to use a TTM squeeze, I'm going to explain how it's used. So basically, when you guys see the light blue color on the TTM squeeze, that means that there is a strong buying power. The minute that you start seeing the dark blue, that is when there is selling pressure occurring and we are going on the downside, okay? The minute that you start seeing red, we are definitely getting puts, right? You want to grab puts when you start seeing squeezes around this side. So for this prime example right here, you guys can see in the pre-market around this time, we saw a squeeze on the upside on the pre-market, right? You saw that the red means that there is a lot of selling pressure. Uh, then you see the yellow marks, which means that there is momentum going back to the upside, which means that there is buyers coming into the market. Now, you don't want to get faked out when you are doing your trade. Most importantly, you want to go ahead and zoom in into your trade and see what's going on. Like, for example, if you were to zoom in right here on this specific trade, um, you could have potentially got fi uh, faked out because it went from lower, uh, what is it, light blue color, blue, and then all of a sudden it went red for a little bit, right? So to confirm it, I always tell the users that are in my Discord group to wait on the third candle, basically on the volume and on the TTM squeeze to confirm what side we can go. Because right here, you guys can tell that there was selling pressure occurring for a little bit, right, at 540. And then 10 minutes later, all of a sudden, you just saw an exponential amount of growth in the volume going up, right? So that is basically how you guys use the TTM squeeze scanner for your watch list. Now I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the actual indicator on the scanner part on how to set it up. All right, guys, so now I'm going to show you guys how to set up your scanner on your actual scan thingy, okay? So first things first, on the top right, you're going to see it says uh, monitor, trade, analyze, scan, market, watch, and charts. Click on scan. <clears throat> Yours might be a little bit different. Um, if your guys is, don't worry about it. I'm going to teach you guys how to set it up just like mine. So the first things first, guys, you want to click on this. And you're going to look for something called the market cap. <clears throat> market cap, money sign, M, Okay. Once that's done, you're going to go ahead and just leave it how that regular setting is. You can go on like this if you want. It doesn't really matter. Just leave it like that. Um, for this one, you're going to click on stock. Click on volume. Mm, where's volume? I think I missed it. One second. <laughs> oh, there it is. Volume. For the volume, you want to put 500,000. Well, that's good and then from there you have an extra one all you want to do is click on the X okay if you have an additional one in between or even on the bottom which is probably gonna to happen to you guys just click on X and then they'll be um, it'll delete it uh, then you want to click on add filter when you click on add a filter you want to click on study once you get to study 
you want to click on ADX crossover <clears throat> and you want to click on custom when you get to this page guys all you want to do is go on to add condition and add a condition you want to click on study the study they're gonna be looking up is called TTM squeeze double click it twice <clears throat> your offset is gonna be zero your histogram or your plot is actually gonna be changed so instead of histogram you click on this and click on squeeze alert once you get to squeeze alert you're gonna click the default settings you're gonna have it at close 20 1.5 2.0 1.0 uh, you can stop the video but like I said, this is just the fault setting, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, and then from there, guys, all you really want to do is go to um, this equal to. Are you going to click on is equal to? And then you're going to click on select the condition, and you click on value. The value is going to be, is going to be 0, 0.0, and then the within three bars. Okay, so make sure you guys have this set up. Like I said, 0, 0.0 is the value, and then it's within three bars. You're going to click on save. Once that's done, you're going to go ahead and click on top and click on delete because you don't need that anymore. And then once that's done, you're going to click on OK. All right, guys, your scanner is pretty much already set. Um, so what you want to do now is pretty much click on the D for daily. And then you can click on different time zones. So, for example, we're going to check on the three minute mark, right? And click on scan. All of a sudden, guys, is going to show you guys right now what is uh, pretty much in a squeeze. So right now for this example, we're going to look at ABEF or V. I'm sorry, ABEV. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that really quick. So we're going to go to ABEV. ABEV. And that was on the one day, three minute mark, right? So we're going to click on one day, three minute mark. If you guys don't know how to do that, click on the top, time frame, intraday, one day. And then click on... Zero three, and look at that guys you guys are literally seeing this right before your eyes you guys can see the squeeze occurring right there so that's how you guys can see and use your indicator uh, like I said all you got to do is go to your scanner you have it there for the rest of whenever you can change it to different time frames if you want to click on the one hour click scan it's gonna scan it right now it's showing 200 uh, stocks but you could change it if you want to um, right now my computer is a little bit slow, so let's go a little bit lower then. We'll do 10 minute, and we'll change it to 50 if you want. There you go. So now we'll look at uh, AA, which is this company right here. Uh, you guys are gonna see there's a squeeze, right? So again, AA. And then what time frame was that again? I forgot. Let me see. 10 minute. Okay. So one day, 10 minute mark. One day. 10 minute click OK and you guys are seeing it right before your eyes guys we have a squeeze occurring in the pre-market right so we are either a gonna sell off you guys could probably tell because the volume is showing deep red so that means there's a lot of people that were selling off and it looks like the potential to go down is probably certain but we can't tell because obviously it's not the morning yet for pre-market we are just in the pre-market as of uh, the afternoon trading session of uh, Thursday's thing so yeah so that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Um, hopefully, this video was completely helpful. Um, like I said, I use this tool to my extent because I am a scalp trader. So, for example, I use this every single day. But most importantly, I like using it on contracts for option trading for zero DTE, um, which is obviously zero days to expiry. And um, like I said, I use this for SPY, specifically for SPY because you play Mondays and Wednesdays for zero DTE. And, of course, every single Friday for any type of ticker. So... Hopefully this was helpful. That way you can make a quick scalp trade to the upside or the downside and pretty much make quick money this way. Um, but that's about it. If you guys could do me a huge favor, guys, I would appreciate you guys following me on my Instagram page at Izzy Legit. Um, I also do have my business page. It's called Next Level Trading, which is my Discord. Um, if you guys want to join my Discord, there's going to be linked in the description down below. Um, right now I have currently, let's see, uh, over uh, 200 people in my thing. So, um yeah, guys, it's been a blessing. <laughs> this guy's goofy for that. But, um, yeah, guys, so if you guys want to join for free, like I said, that's completely for free. Um, as of right now, Monday I will be charging, but get a little uh, trial to see how it tastes, and we'll play Zero DT if you're watching this video. Anyways, guys, uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Later, guys. Have a good one.